once again it is monday morning we're going to start the hunt week off hopefully on the right foot here by getting into walmart and finding some stuff let's go in here and see what they may have put out this morning or late last night after the weekend restocks let's see what we got transformers is well stocked that's a cool looking junk heap i don't know if i've seen that one or not if i have i haven't paid attention to it 55 dollars star screen 15 bucks you can catch him at ollie's there's huh oh, have i seen these things <laughs> poor old bebop he was in shape back in like the 80s cartoons donnie raf mikey and they got leo so they got all four turtles plus bebop and the music's insanely loud so i'm gonna have to jabber on here um there's a hulk i got those things on clearance yet I don't see them. Oh, I got some new uh, legends. Whoa. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a picture of the toy thing here. We got some new stuff. And they have got mountains of stock boxes, guys. I'm going to have to adjust my hunt time. They used to stock this Walmart, I think, on Sunday nights. So all the new stuff were out the first thing Monday morning when I stop in here. That seems to be shifting. They seem to be now doing their stocking on Mondays. Hey, Siren. Vulcan. Iron Man. Who we got here? We've got Warrior Gamora. This is an, I wouldn't mind to have this one if I can find it on clearance eventually. And then we got Goliath. That's pretty cool looking as well. And they have Agatha Harkness. They've got pegs and pegs of those at Target. Let's see, sold them. Talos. Um, got Nick Fury. Oh, they got the one I want. This is another one on a long game. I hope we don't regret. That's a very good likeness. The figure actually looks like that. And D'Onofrio. Love the Kingpin character. I'd like to have the big retro card one that came out. What do we got here still left on Spidey? You got Miles, Jessica Drew, Chasm, Tarantula, and being around there in the back. These are about to fall off the pegs. So I'm not going to move those. We've seen them time and time again. Scarlet Spider there. If I actually put the camera on him. So hey, new Marvel Legends at Walmart. They got new stuff, so they have restocked some. I'm skipping over the video game stuff behind me. We got some Pokemon stuff down there. I guess I could show this closer. Just because I don't buy it, that means somebody else will look at it. I don't remember all those little figures being there. Freddy Fazbear, Bonnie's, Foxy's, Poppy Playtime. That's some Fortnite figures. Those little box figures there at Fortnite, those are nice. Those would be tempting to buy if I seen them on clearance. Oh, we got some new. Oh, this is Donkey Kong and that Mario wave. Still got Samus. I wonder if they're going to do anything else that little wave. You had Link, Zelda, and Samus, but they've been out for quite a while now. Be curious to see if they crank out any more. Mario, we got some WWE Ultimates up there. Who you got? Uh, looks like Brock. Is this a whole effing show? Oh, I can't reach it. Ha, Rob Van Dam. I saw this one in here on Friday when I stopped in after work. I think I mentioned in my Monday hunt video, I found this over the weekend. You know, I found this here. I don't think I filmed. What else we got? We got a Brock. So a Brock and an RVD, Ruthless Aggression up here. We're going to put those back where we found them. Uh, we'll check the rest of the action figures there in a second. Just want to look here while we're going through Stu Grayson's. I will say one thing, they have organized and cleaned their toy out a little bit. There's a Brock for Markdown. What's wrong with it? Oh, somebody stole the title belts out of it. And Alexa Bliss, and there's another Ruthless Aggression Brock down here on the shelf. Do they have... Nope, no more ultimates anyways we got snake eyes scrappy uh, what we got here nyla nyla still the same things in that oh, oh something caught that these things are full to the end of the peg there we go oh, nope she ain't gonna stay there too full don't see anything there don't see any of the 104 wave unless it's down and all that and I'm not going to mess that up. Got Chrysanthemum. 
This guy's cool looking. Yeah, I don't buy Star Wars, but it doesn't mean some things don't tempt me. Oh, they got Mossman. Bunch of Eddie Kingstons. First time seeing this thing here. Uh, we got some of the new Star Wars. I know that's one of the new ones. They don't put the wave on the back. I think that guy's different too. And Ezra Bridger. And Ezra Bridger. And then Cad Bane. That little dude and this little guy. Boba Fett. More of the ones we just saw. TIE Fighters. A busted up TIE Fighter. Still got Landos. And they got Cassian Ando. Den John. I don't know who these people are. I need to act like I do. Uh, still got Flash stuff. The Night Falls and all that has been wiped out, so I made the declaration that he was peg warming too soon. There's Bat Wing. Two Bat Wings. Oh, we've got a multiverse this morning. Uh, oh, looky here. So they're getting the new Batmobile as well. Uh, let's just take a. I'm going to take a picture of that. I have found it before. More March, but still, it's exciting to see it in this one. <laughs> Got Black Lantern and Superman, some old Aquaman page puncher. That is an awesome looking black mana. Anybody slept on that? I would highly recommend it. Speaking of Black Manta, the superpowers wave. Just keep checking the channel here. There might be a possibility that some kind, generous soul saw that and picked it up from the man collects. But let's see what else we got. Look at this. Oh, I see Hot Wheels. Uh, creative Play. Uh, unmarked boxes. Those are the ones that, that get me. There's some Lego. Creative Play. Infant Preschool. That's more my speed right there. What have we got down through here? Barbies. Minecraft. Puppy. WWE Superstars action figures. More superstars. Those are kind of got me curious. We may got a buttload of the superstars figures in there. Plus, we got more stuff down there. I was like Hot Wheels. WWE basic Hot Wheels cars. Yep, people have already picked through those. And just kind of, I want to look through these a little more thoroughly when I am off camera to see what they got. But let's go check out some die cast real quick. Where are we at? Seven and a half minutes? Not too bad. You can call me out. Oh, they got the home improvement thing here. I could have picked it up at Virginia sales tax if I'd have waited. <laughs> oh, I got the blazer too. That thing's awesome. Again, could have got it at Virginia sales tax. I got two of them. I have yet to open that and put the wheels on it, but it will be done. That's cool. A Cadillac. Um, I'm waiting any minute, guys, for my phone to give me the indication that I'm almost out of memory. I haven't cleaned my um, old videos off of this thing in forever. Not right, man. They've stocked this pretty well, too. It's a Fast and the Furious house. That's cool looking. It's kind of like a Smokey and the Bandit Fast and Furious thing going on there. What else we got here? Um, got the white Batmobile. Again, I'm not going to dig through all these. Do they have the shipper out here, the new Star Wars figures? They do, but they've got one <laughs> record. And that's it. All right. That's going to do it for our main toy aisle. We're going to head back to collectors and see if we can find anything. But we may try to check those Superstars boxes. Because I think there's some more of those coming. So if I find anything, I'll show it to you. If not, I'll see you at the next. I was going to go to Ross first, but I misread the app. I thought it opened at 9.30 in the morning. They don't open at 10.30, so. Let's see here. Oh, we do have some. Look here. Bat cycle. That looks pretty cool, I gotta say. Um, Batman animated figs. They've got pegs up for them. They don't have any of them yet. It's just a 29 bucks. This is the same price as the figures. That's a possibility. We're going to take a picture of that. I first said I wasn't going to get those, but I don't know. We may end up getting them. There's a kingpin hanging out. No other new stuff in this section that I could tell. They don't have a Roger Rabbit, do they? Nope. 
Uh, actually, you know, just in case we decide to get that, that's the only one they got. Let's carry it around with us. There's nobody else in here right now, but that can change in a second. What else we got down through here, everybody? Um, I got Strongheart there. We got something. That's the Colossus of the Swamp behind there. Evil Dead, Aliens. I'm going to head over to that end cap for the Fall Geek Out. They had put some more stuff over there. It was fuller than it was on Friday. I don't know if they just filled it with existing stock or they've gotten some more stuff in over there. But <laughs> Oh, yeah. First thing of the animated series found. That's cool. Uh, there's a Joker as Batman, but I didn't point that out. But yeah, let's go see what we got over in the other side. Actually, the aisle's right there. Let's just walk over there. Maybe they got, I don't see any of the animated figures there. Um, they got two gray shirt Casey's. Still got a Superman, Joker Eyes, Scarecrow. They don't have any more Two Face. Oh crap. Have they got both versions of this? Okay, no, these are just turned around the wrong way. Okay. Uh, so I got Greg the Hammer. More Greg the Hammers. I don't know why that's there. But yeah. Still got some Superman collectors. Some scarecrows and stuff. Okay, we're going to head down now to the main action figure aisle. So I'll be right back. Uh, we're checking some clearance end caps first. And doesn't look like anything different on this one. Uh, still got the Johnny Lawrence's back there for $8.39. Got one Dungeons and Dragons left. What's he down to? Seven forty-nine for Forge. Let's put the bicycle down for a second. Do they ever put a price on this thing? They did have it at the Kingsport Target on clearance. It was twenty-seven ninety-nine. Not saying we want that thing, but I'm just curious what they wanted for it. But yeah, uh, let's just walk up to the action figures. It's just right up here. I don't think it was down the aisle. If it is, we'll cut it off for a second. Uh, nope, not that one yet. Here we go. What do we got? I already see some Wolverine and Magneto. Uh, let's go down and check the McFarlane real quick. Platinum Riddlers have been showing up in Target, but I don't think they've stopped any of the multiverse since Friday. If they have, they've already sold it. Still got the Superman 2 pack. Oh, that's cool. Scourge. I think I might have saw that before. Let's just peek around here and make sure we don't have any of the animated Batman figures stuck anywhere. Got Carapax down there and Big Fig. Still got the Aquaman 4 pack. There's Scourge. Or Sludge. Or not Scourge. Scourge is up here. That's Sludge. <laughs> They got that little four pack down there, a Seeker, Trooper, Trooper, and Animated Universe Autobots. Still got two of the big bat wings. I can't believe those haven't been clearance yet. I would scan them, but I've already got that thing. Oh, it has new G.I. Joe, which I got there in a second. Hey, $21.99, they're cheaper than you're at Walmart. <sighs> that right there. <laughs> you know, I don't have receipts for them, but I still have my, my individuals up there. In the boxes. I wonder if I can return those. I don't have the receipt though. I bet without the receipt they would just give me back the sale price. I don't know. Something to think about. I think I got Flint. Let's take a look at Flint. I don't know if I want to get this or not. I gotta tell you, I'm not a huge fan of the Tiger Force stuff. Not bad looking though. And hey, they're getting new G.I. Joe. And look, they got the grunt there for eleven ninety nine. Is that just a regular price for him? I thought someone had told me that was a mistake, which is why everybody was jumping on it so hard. What's that? I want the Lego sale in back there under that Power Rangers thing. Um, who's that? Another Scourge. Still got our X Men Tinies. And those are all Wolverines and Magnetos. You can see them on the cards. Warrior Gamoras. Oh, there goes a big old... That's microwaves. Okay. We got anybody any different here? 
Still got a bunch of Nick Furies. I don't remember if he was in here. He was in here when I was in here Friday, but I didn't record the toy owl. A bunch of kingpins and agathas. I gotta pay for the Scarlet Witch. Gambit they're out of. Bishop they're out of. Still nothing for Rogue or Storm. I did see at least Rogue in GameStop. I better not forget that bat cycle. Um, don't see anything else there. What do we got over here? Oh, I hear the rumbling. Um, didn't see any toys on the thing. I think she's just going to the shortcut to the kitchen wares. I don't know, moving quick here, guys. I'm just not seeing anything. That's pretty cool, a little Fortnite set there. Oh, this thing. I don't know if I saw this in person or saw a picture of it online. That looks cool. That looks cool. Okay. We're going to take the bat cycle now. Let's go over and check the wrestling aisle and see if we got anything. I wonder if these are... They had five Wolverines. They've got more in. Okay. That is a good looking Wolverine. I think these claws look better than the one I picked up. I've seen some people too. I don't remember if it was... I don't know who it was. Found these things. The cards all mangled. That's a good looking Wolverine face sculpt there. And this Magneto. I mean, that just looks great. I want the helmet comes off. It looks like it does. It's pretty cool. But anywho, let's go check out some wrestling and diecast. What have we got? That Randy Orton basically looks different. Oh, look at this thing. This is like the Avengers set they got over there. You know, for the price, it's $25. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. Luke, Maul, Mandalorian, Bo-Katan, Darth Vader. I only recognize well, all of them, but... Bokatan, not familiar with that character. Um, Becky Lynch. We got a pair of AEW. Nothing new up there. We got one new figure. And hey, they got this thing. I think it's Mr. Fantastic that picked that thing up. That is cool with old school blue cage. I even like they got classic wrestlers in it. You got Brett, Mr. Perfect, Andre, and Hogan. Man, I like the way they do the cages now. I always like that old blue cage back in the day. When they come out and try to slap that thing together instead of just dropping it down. That's pretty cool to see. We're going to take a picture of that. There we go. The then and thou four pack is labeled there. They don't have that yet. That's the one that got recalled, I think. Paz Vizsla. Check out General Kenobi's bunker. He interviewed the actor that played Paz Vizsla. That was pretty cool. Mr. Kenobi is going big time on us. That's a new Star Wars figure. I think that's new too, Lando. Those are, those are, those are new figures, right? <laughs> I shouldn't take shots at Lando. That's just cheap. Especially when I'm not a Star Wars guy. <laughs> uh, they got the Indies here. A bunch of them. The Map Room Indie. They got the V-Wings. And that stuff. Still got Andres back here. I wonder what those are now. Price wise, they were down to $7.99 in the clearance section here at one point. Sunman 3 set. In case I didn't a 3 pack. In case I didn't point that out. Donnie, I wonder if these big turtles here are still. Yeah, they're still $25. Bucks. Oh, I didn't even point it out. They have some retro turtles here. You got. Uh, Genghis, Shredder, Krang, Baxter, Wingnut, or Wingnut, another Genghis, another Krang. And we got some storage down here. All of them, but Mikey looks like. And the rest of our dinos. Alright, so let's go over now and check out Diecast, see what they got. Walk with me, friends. Oh man, look at this. This is cool. Christine. $26.99. You got the 18 van. That is pretty cool. We're going to take a picture of those too. I got to say, those are tempting. Christine, the 18. That is pretty cool. And they got the home improvement car here too. They got anything else in the grease? I saw that one over the weekend. Oh no. Oh, sorry about that. 
Tim the tool man, I wrecked what might be your car. Oh, shoot. Man, all these are falling off. 90210, Starsky and Hutch, history. Okay. I've seen Fall Guy vehicles in those. I like to find a Fall Guy truck. Um, I don't see anything else sexy and exciting there. That shell be there is pretty cool for the miles. What else have we got down through here? Got those overly expensive 1 and 43 scale Hot Wheels. And then just scanning these, I don't see anything we're too sexy or excited about in Hot Wheels. And I think that's going to do it for this target run. We're going to make one more peek through um, collectors over there just to make sure they didn't put any more of this stuff out. But hey, first sign I'm seeing of this stuff. So hopefully we'll be seeing the figures here pretty soon. We'll keep checking back. We invaded the Ollie's in Bristol about an hour ago. Didn't have anything. Let's head to the one here in Greenville that had stuff, but nothing new, nothing different. So let's head to the one here in Greenville. See if we can find us some Crimson Guards or something. Let's go look. See what we got. G.I. Joe's, we still just have Snake Eyes Wave. I've come close to getting Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow a couple of times. I got the His Tanks now. I don't think they had those last time I was here. Kind of those snake eyes models. Still gotta put mine together. There's more snake eyes, those coronation star screams. We got Thor hammers. <laughs> uh, I'll move that down here. More coronation. Let's peek around here. Monopoly, some Nerf guns, Butter Bay. Uh, Nerf strike stuff. Model kits, somebody stuck a storm shadow back there. Star Wars Mission Fleet, Boba Fett models. Anything different? That Razor Crest on there is pretty cool, I gotta say. Don't collect Star Wars, but the Razor Crest is cool. But I got D&D &D here now. I'm gonna take a look and see who they got in those. Is that all Forge? Oops, yep. All Forge. Um, what's over here? Still got a buttload of white vision. Already picked that guy up. There's a random pack of Black Panthers. Got a little damage on them. Let's see what else we can find. Nerf. There's Fortnite. Dio and Siona. I've never seen that before. T and Tina. Still got the boat. Nothing sexy there. We still got gliders. They don't have the mask. The one in Bristol did have the mask for Fortnite. That was the only thing I saw was really different. Still got some Moss Man. I went back and forth on Moss Man. I don't think I want to pick him up though. Alright. Oh! Oh! Do they have. I don't think they have Crimson Guard. Oh man, they got Dusty and Zeronas. Huh. One of those things I didn't expect to see. I have my composure back now. I do apologize for my outburst. And there's more Razor Crests. All right, we're gonna check over here in this center section. I couldn't get over there for the people a second ago, but. Yeah, we do have Dusty and Zerana now in uh, our Ollie's here, so that is awesome. Wish I hadn't paid full price for Dusty. But we're going to go look around some more, and I'll be back. Well, let's check the home base Walmart. I've been in several places trying to find some more footage for this hunt video. All my stores are striking out on me, so let's go see if we can find anything worth showing in here. Let's take a look at the toy aisle here. They have actually restocked the clearance little center section there with all the stuff on this aisle that was on clearance the last time i started to stop and look through it then it just dawned on me <sighs> get down the toy aisle because they took it all off the shelves what did they replace it with what is that armada universe star screen oh that's pretty cool i don't think i've seen that before pretty cute pretty cute there's cliff jumper some of those others don't know a lot about the 
that stuff anymore. I don't know if it's new, good, bad, ugly, or whatever. Man, they got a crap ton of stuff. They've really stocked back here. I'm getting excited. <laughs> what are they going to have? Oh, uh, shredder. I mean, splinter. Lord have mercy. Was it splinter? I didn't pay attention. Nope, Baxter. There's some more behind him there. I wonder who else is up here. I don't even know if I got the camera pointed the right way because I'm trying to reach up at the top of the there is Wingnut and Screwloose, Baxter Stockman, and I'll put Wingnut back up there. Don't think it's any more of the newer ones. Let's see what they got here on the peg. King, I think I got some movie turtles back there. Oh, what else we got here? Older legends. Oh, oh, they actually have. I don't know if they had this last time or not, but a newer legend. A bunch of zombie Iron Man. I'm almost like they got some zombie Iron Man in. Oh, XP 97. Yeah, they got one of the small figures. Yeah, Cyclops, Wolverine's glove and mask, and the big Wolfie. Those are actually on sale right now at Target. So they're cheaper than Walmart. I can't remember what they were, like nine bucks a piece, something like that. I think the big Wolverine's ten something. Oh, look here. <laughs> Gold label green. This is funny. This is funny. I had a fellow collector. I was trying to help track this thing down. I actually found these at the Bristol Walmart today. Um, I went back there after I filmed my initial hunt this morning. This is all they had different, by the way. But, um... I picked him up for him, and then he sends me a picture a little bit later. He actually found these in his area today, and now they're here. They are in Greenpool, so Green Lantern must be hitting for anybody that's looking for him. Still got our complement of Blackest Knights, Dark Knight Returns. Let's see if they might have a Batgirl. Any of this? Since they got some fighting with Frozen, got Freeze, Robin, Robin, Batman, Robin, Batman, Batman. Oh man, they got a buttload of them up there. Crap, how am I going to reach all those? I don't know, we're going to figure it out. That or knock everything off the shelf trying. There's Mr. Freeze. Uh, and hey, look, Mr. Freeze. Are they all Mr. Freeze? Do they tell on the back of the carton what they are? Oh, it does on that barcode, but I ain't going to be able to see that up there. Or can I? Let's see, that one is Mr. Freeze. And there's two more. Can I see up through that? I'll figure that out while I don't have a camera in my hand because it's going to be aggravating with two hands, let alone trying to get it with one. Let's see if I can see at least the next one behind it. Is it Mr. Freeze as well? It is. Oh, crap, I can't see. Hmm. I'll figure some way to get that. I got to make sure it's not Batgirl. I waited so patiently. I can't miss out on Batgirl or any of these chases. I don't think so. Okay, we're done crying. What do we got here? I'm paranoid about missing the chase on those things. There's this person pointing out that I missed the chase on those things here a while back. Crap, how do I want to get those? Let's see. What do we got here? Where's those lightsabers at? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, we hook the hanger. There we go, we can turn it around. Oh crap, that one fell the other way. Can I see through the plastic? Ah, it's Batman, okay. We didn't destroy anything. And we'll put that back where we saw it. Thank you very much, Star Wars. What do we got over here? All kinds of Pokemon cards. I don't see anything really different in the video game stuff. I can see down there. They had a case of Crimson Guard last time I was in here. But no more of that. Filmed a little bit in my ollies tonight. I don't know if I put the footage in here. Because I didn't film very much in there. Just the stuff they didn't have last time I was in the store. But they actually had some of the Star Wars wave this time. Star Wars. Ah, G.I. Joe. They had Zerana and Dusty. But no Crimson Guard. Now, I don't know if someone had cabbage the guards or not because it looked like they had one thing. It looked like a full case. It only had Zeron and Dusty unless they just changed it for display purposes. That's a cool looking figure. Ha. 
Collecting Havoc found some of these things. But they were kind of cool. <laughs> There's a Stormtrooper. C-3PO. Oh, they got R2. Let's see what else we got here. We got the Eddie Kingstons, I think. I don't remember if they had those last time I was here. I don't see any Series 104. What we got up there? They have got any of the new superstars here in the last little while. I can see by looking there, they don't have any either. And the Walmart is one of those stock boxes you saw in Bristol where all the Macho Man, The Rock, Earthquake, and Rick Rude had three cases. Every one had the exact same figures in it. So I didn't film those either. I did open them to look and put them back. I sealed them, closed the boxes back over and bolted the flaps and put them back on the shelf where they were. Or back on the stack of pallets, I guess. I don't know if any of this is the new stuff. Return of the Jedi. Ahsoka. I think that's a new one. Landos. I don't think they're new ones. There's another Ahsoka figure. I know that guy's new because Collecting Havoc found him and they street dated him. They actually had a Sokas figure at the Bristol Walmart, so I take that back. They did have something else other than Vampire Green Lantern and a bunch of the same superstars. Oh, let's see. Beast Lamb will refill. What do we got down here? Adam Page, Eddie Kingston's, Cody Rhodes, Kenny Omega. I'm sure they don't have the CM Punk, but you never know if you don't look, man. There's a lot of Cody's. And over here we have our, um, hey, they got Fox Moss Man. That's cool. A crap ton of them. That's going to end up being on clearance. And I paid full freaking price. They do have Crimson Guard. Man, is that all Crimson Guard? There's no way one of those is a snake eyes, is there? Let's see if I can get out of here and see. Oh, <laughs> I almost slipped up gust. Is this more Moss Man? Dude, they got two more moss men, or moss men up there. I gotta know if these are crimson guards. Gung ho, gung ho, gung ho. Okay, got three crimson guards up there. T3, buddy. I tried to find some crimson guard. That's the best I can do, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, let's see what they got here. Rock and roll. I really hope he gets clearance. I want him, but I don't want him for full price. And I've already picked up shipwreck. And these are all... Oh, there's a Crimson Guard. So there's one there. So they got four. They still got a case. Oh, what else we got down through here? Not seeing anything. Bowser. Never mind, there's Bowser. Let's go look at... There's another... Oh, that's the ones I knocked over, isn't it? I don't see anything else sexy up top. We're just going to scan it one more time just to make sure. Let's walk out there and look at that clearance center cap thing. I hope my audio is coming through good. I'm using my headset again. To try to keep all the music from coming through. Alright, hang on. Here we go. Here we go. There's a Dungeons and Dragons animated we got left. Reva. Oh, they've got some Marvel Legends up there. I don't know if I've seen that in here or not. There's a Batman Batmobile. Uh, let's see. I don't see any Cabbage Patch dolls for my buddy. Everything's plastic. Dry door is eighteen dollars. He's showing up for like five bucks at Ollie's as well. Oh, here's Vampire Superman, sixteen bucks. I got three of those. I got him and Green Lantern right now. No Black Lightning or um, Captain Adam. I was torn to this. This I was tempted to get at eighteen dollars. I saw it in clearance here the other day. What all they got in this buggy? You got some Barbie stuff. There's Simon Forge and Hogan. They got all three of those. How much are these? Twenty bucks. Uh, that was forty-five. Oh, there's Captain Adam. They still got him. He's sixteen as well. Still got a buttload of him. There's the bat wing, still $24. Okay, let's head back to our supermobiles too for $16. Why is the bat? That's $16, that's $24. The boat should be like five bucks. My lord, they've been on the shelves about as long as I've been doing YouTube. Of course, 
It hasn't been that long. It feels like it's been longer than that. Not in a bad way. All right. Ooh, look here. Jumbled that mess. That means they probably stopped to move stuff around. Star Wars Lego. Oh, that shipper looks like it's been ransacked. What else we got down through here? Somebody has got some hot little skateboarding. Mr. RB just commented on one of my videos. I do appreciate that. Check out Real Batman on YouTube. Also check out Everything's Plastic Collectible Reviews. I think his channel is called. And he doesn't need a shout out for me. He's got like 80,000 subscribers. As does RB, but still. Also, go watch T3 Collects. Dude needs like 150 or 140, something like that, subs to get to 1,000. T3 needs to hit 1,000. I still got the Colossus Jeep down there. That's still tempting. Wait and see. I'm going to get home and I'm going to try to play this back and it's not going to have any audio because I tried to use a stupid headset. Where's that Batman I knocked over? It is Batman. Okay. There's his butt hanging right there. There's a bunch of older superpowers. And they got the K5 Blazer again. I'm going to the second one. Well, I seen it both Walmarts today. Ooh, look at this. That's pretty. That is pretty. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, I think that's going to do it for the main toy. Oh, that truck there at 51 Chevrolet. Let's zoom in without bending over. That's pretty sweet looking. Uh, anything Lego wise? I'm not aware of any new stuff come out yet. I don't see any clearance tags. So we're going to head back to the collector section and the actual clearance aisle. If I see anything in either spot, I'll show it to you. If not, then I'll see you the next. Actually, let's see how much these things are. Uh, they're on clearance. They're not marked yet. I just wanted to check out to what Micro Galaxy Squadron was here. Okay, now, going to the clearance aisle, going to collectors. Find anything, I'll show it to you. If not, then I'll see you the next. Uh, let's go zoom in on. Let's do rock and roll. Hello everybody, my name is Chris, you're watching The Man Collects, and you just saw another toy hunt from The Man Collects. Midweek toy hunt, guys. We're into spooky season now. It's getting close to Halloween. And we got a Friday the 13th coming up this week. So anyone who enjoys the Friday the 13th movies, if you're planning any marathons of that Friday night, enjoy your movies. The Man Collects, he'll be watching some Jason Voorhees on Friday night, I can guarantee you that. But anyways, we're not here to talk about Jason Voorhees unless we find a really cool Jason collectible. We're here to talk about the toy hunt you just saw. I'm pointing over there because I got my notes on my screen so I can you know, jamber on this video. Also, I don't have my glasses on and my eyes look squinty and really puffy. I'm sorry about that. But anyways, I forgot my glasses. So hopefully I can read the notes that are on a computer screen. I, I can read them. I got the font like that big. So we're good to go. Anyways, the stores you saw me in. Walmart, Bristol, Virginia. Target, Bristol, Virginia. Ollie's, Greenville, Tennessee. Walmart, Greenville, Tennessee. Found good stuff in all stores, guys. It was a good hunt, this video. But uh, new legends in the Walmart in Bristol, Virginia. And again, like I said, that Walmart will, will suck 20 times in a row. It's a hitter for 10 times in a row. We're on a hitter streak now in there. It was cool to see those new legends, the, uh, the Marvel uh, or Disney Plus wave in there. They had Warrior Gamora, they had Goliath, they had Talos, they had uh, Kingpin. It's cool to see those hitting in Walmart. So we've seen them in GameStop and Target. We haven't seen them in Walmart yet, so it's cool to see those there. Also, WWE wrestling fans, they had the Ultimate Rob Van Dam figure there. I can't remember if they had one or two of them in that Walmart. You saw in the video, though. But it's cool to see that. I know some of my buddies who do collect wrestling said so that figure is the one they're having the most trouble finding right now. And I think I found that now at three Walmarts in the last week or so. So it seems to be hitting more in my area. So hopefully it's restocking in yours as well if you are looking for that figure. That's calling all Star Wars fans. We're seeing new Black Series hitting the shelves as well. They had some there in Bristol. So it's always cool to see new stuff uh, hitting the shelves. Even if it's not something I collect, I like seeing new stuff out there. And it's cool to help out some other collectors by showing what's out there in Walmart in case they're looking for it or wondering when it's going to be hitting shelves. What else did we see? Uh, Superpowers Batmobile. They finally pulled the bat wings and the Supermobiles out and got them stuck on clearance, finally. And they also got the, the Batmobile was sitting there. They only had one. They didn't have any of the Invisible Jet, but hey, they got new Superpowers. I ain't complaining that they just got one Batmobile. It's cool to finally see some of that new wave start to hit. 
And we found the Batmobile and the Invisible Jet, was it last week? We found it in the Tennessee, uh, Bristol, Tennessee Walmart. But now we're seeing it in the Bristol, Virginia. Haven't seen the figures yet. Uh, hopefully they're coming soon. Hopefully they're following behind the vehicles there on the restock of the figures. Uh, I've already got that wave. I got it from GameStop, and then I ordered a couple I was missing, and it's a couple of them that were damaged I got from uh, uh, Amazon and got those in. Black Manta, the Walmart exclusive, is the only one I don't have in my possession as of the time of this video. But I do think a collector friend, T3 Collects, hopefully will be hooking me up here pretty soon. So you might get to see that figure pretty soon on the Man Collects if I'm unable to locate it in my retail adventures. But anyways, what else do we have? Uh, WWE Superstars. You saw the huge pile of the stock boxes they had back in there. They had like four boxes of the WWE Superstars figures. And I love those figures. That's one wrestling line that I do collect. And I don't know, I haven't done my research, but I thought I heard on someone else's videos they're making a Vader figure in that line. So I, op I did open those boxes that I saw there on the stock crates. Now, when I was finished, I placed the figures back in the box the same way I took them out. I folded the flaps over and sealed them. I, mean, I didn't tape them back, but I floored them over and you no know, dog-eared them there and closed them back so I didn't leave a mess in the stock area there. But all four boxes had the same four figures. They had the Rock, Earthquake, uh, oh man, I'm going blank. Macho Man, Randy Savage, and Rick Rude. The same four figures were in all four boxes. So we didn't see anything new, but still I got a huge restock on those. And again, it's always good to see restocks and newer stuff hitting the shelves. Uh, now, I did go back in there on my lunch break because I just had a feeling they were going to have some new Vampire Green Lantern, just to be quite honest. Now, I've got a collector buddy trying to find that, and I've been trying to track it down for him. He ended up finding it the same day that I found it for him. But again, I, thought, I just felt like it was there. I went back up to that Walmart on my lunch break, and they did have Vampire Green Lantern. They had three of them. Now, I will say, as of this, that was yesterday. Today, Tuesday, they have none of them. So they flew off the shelf. They no longer have Vampire Green Lantern at the Bristol, Virginia Walmart. But they did have him for a brief period of time yesterday. Uh, Target. The main reason for me going to Target was trying to find the animated series, the Batman animated series figures from McFarlane. I'm seeing everybody's finding those right now. And, oh, my collector's ego. I want to find them too. But as you saw in the video, the Bat Cycle is all they had. Um, I'm still on the fence on this wave. Um, I know from looking at pictures and other videos people put online, I don't like the cell shading, especially on the Batman figure. I think as far as pictures go, it looks like crap, to be quite honest. But one common denominator I'm hearing in everyone's reviews or everyone's posts I've seen on Instagram and Facebook they're all saying the same thing. They don't look as bad in person as they do in the pictures. So I want to look at them. Odds are I'll end up buying some of them. But again, uh, Batman and Mr. Freeze are the only two that I may get. Like I said, if I see them all four, I may fall in love with them buy all four of them. I don't know. But um, even the Platinum, if I was to find that Platinum Scarecrow, unless it just really calls out to me, I'm not going to buy it just because it's a chase. You know, it's not something I want. But anyways, I want to see them. That's what I was mainly looking for in that Target that didn't have it. Also looking for Chun-Li. That's starting to hit. The Jada Chun-Li Street Fighter II figure. They didn't have it there yet either. But we're trying to find that as well. I got Ryu. I got Fei Long. Um, so I, I want to get Chun-Li as well to kind of round out that first little three-figure wave. What else do we see in Target? Uh, Geek, uh, Fall Geek Out. I couldn't read my writing there. Like I said, no glasses, guys. I'm sorry. That's, that's sad when the font is that big on your screen here and you still can't see it. But anyways, the geek out leftovers. They still had some, uh, the, the creature from the Black Lagoon is the only thing that got left that's really calling to me. But um, I haven't bought any Universal monster movies. I got the Wolfman, the Mummy, Dracula, and Frankenstein. I didn't get the Invisible Man. I didn't get the Phantom of the Opera. I didn't get Bride of Frankenstein. And I've, so far, I've passed on the creature from the Black Lagoon. But I really like that figure. I was that close to getting it. But you saw there in the video, there's not much left on that Fall Geek Out end cap. All the really good hitter stuff's already gone. There's no more chases there. And they still got a red shirt, Casey. Uh, the McCready, the Thing figure, that is cool. The figure looks great, don't get me wrong. But in my opinion, the coolest thing about that is on the plastic on the box. When you open that flap on the NECA box, you got that frosting around the plastic there. That looks awesome, the way they've done that presentation. But... Uh, what else do we see in Target? Tiger Force Flint for G.I. Joe Classifieds. And I didn't pick that up. It was a new classified. It was cool to see it, and it's already gone. It was wiped off the shelf today. But again, I'm not a huge fan of those Tiger Force figures. I'm not just going to buy it just because it's a new G.I. Joe if I don't like it. So I didn't pick up Flint. 
Uh, the legends, man. The legends are just sitting there in that Target. And I was excited talking about them in Walmart. They hadn't seen them there before. The ones in Target are just sitting on the shelves. X-Men 97, Wolverine and Magneto, they're kind of sitting on the shelves. And we all know why. Everybody knows Target will clearance those suckers in about another probably week or two weeks from now. So everybody's waiting for that clearance. I bet you the morning that clearance hits, if I get in that Target early, those will be wiped out. They'll be off the shelf quick once they do hit clearance. Uh, what else we have? Oh, diecast. They had some cool stuff in the diecast section. Christine. You know, I don't know if you've ever seen that movie, Christine, based on the Stephen King book about the killer red car there. But they had Christine. They had the 18 van, those Jada Hollywood rides. And I started to buy them both. I'm not going to lie, but they're $27 each. So I kind of pumped the brakes a little bit because if I do end up getting the animated series figures, they're $30 a piece. So we're trying to budget a little smarter there, not just buy every single thing that I want. If I did that, I'd be broke and I'd have, you know, half a Target in Walmart, which I probably do have more than half of a Target in Walmart in this store, in this room, but that's beside the point. As far as Target, that was pretty much the hitters there. Greenville Ollie's. I didn't film much in there. I didn't film the entire toy because the stuff we've already been seeing over and over, but I did film the stuff that was new to that Ollie's. Uh, the His Tanks, they just got the His Tanks in. Um, I, those His Tanks are awesome. Actually, you can't see it. It's behind me. But I put mine together that I got and got the driver in there. But I'll, I may pick up a couple of more of these just to have to put on the shelf. My only complaint with these, the sticker there in the front is too big. You know, I had to trim it a little bit and I didn't get it in there lined up. But they already do have the His Tanks and my local Ollie's. I may pick up a couple of more of those in the future. The most exciting thing they had, and you heard me nerd out in the video because I didn't expect to see it. They had Dusty and Zorana. Um, I saw them and immediately in my mind, I'm like, they've got the Crimson Guard. They've got Dusty and Zorana. I bet Crimson Guard's behind them. But as you saw in the video, no Crimson Guard. And I have not yet found those in Ollie's. And I think they're also hitting Ross stores and stuff too as well, if I'm not mistaken. But um, we're still going to keep looking at the Ollie stores for that. Now, just to give you a heads up, uh, I did go in my Greenville Ollie's tonight as I'm recording this. And they're getting ready to put a bunch of stock out. I don't know what they got. I tried to look at some of the boxes, but it's kind of like Walmart. They got them stacked pretty deep. So long story short, we're hitting all these again tomorrow after work to see if they, what they put out in their restock. So stay tuned. Hopefully on Friday, I might can show you some Crimson Guards other than the ones that I've got over on the shelf in front of me. Uh, what else? Walmart and Greenville rounded it out. They had Vampire Green Lantern. You saw them there as well. So anybody looking for that figure, I know it's, they stocked it in Bristol. They stocked it in the Greenville Walmart. My buddy that was trying to find one, he's in California, T3. T3 found some Vampire Green Lanterns as well. So they seem to be hitting more in the stores now, so keep a lookout. Uh, Black Lightning as well. I've seen that a few times in some different stores there for those Walmart uh, McFarland Gold Label exclusives. A uh, new Star Wars Black Series is hitting in that Walmart as well. They had some new stuff put out. The cool Star Wars things they had, though, those little droids, R2-D2. I don't know who the other one is. Maybe BB-8. I don't know the characters, guys. I apologize. But those things are like little bobbleheads. And when you move their heads, they make all kinds of cool droid sounds. I mean, the R2-D2, I'm going to tell you, I was close to buying that. I always liked R2-D2 in those movies when I was a kid. And I'm not a rampant Star Wars fan, but... You know, I'm a fan of all this stuff. My older brother is not, he likes Marvel movies and, you know, Batman movies and stuff, but he's a nerd for Star Wars. And I think it's weird. The one thing that I don't geek out hard on is Star Wars. So, like I said, I do know some of the characters. I've watched the movies with Greg there, my brother, but, uh, but again, I don't know all the characters there, but it is cool to see new figures, especially those little droids. I may end up buying an R2-D2 to sit here on my desk and screw around with while I'm doing these videos. I can't help it, guys. I like inanimate objects that talk to me. Uh, what else do they have there? The Retro Crimson Guard. We didn't find $5 Crimson Guards. We did find $25 Crimson Guards. They had four of them there at the Greenville Walmart. I have seen them at that Walmart more frequent than anywhere else. They've had a, they get a case of those about every month. Um, I have not seen Snake Eyes there yet. I only found one of those Snake Eyes figures, and I found it in Bristol, Virginia. And, you know, he's sitting right over there looking at me right now. So uh, Snake Eyes still not hitting very, very good in my areas. The Crimson Guard is starting to show up more on that retro card if you're a collector of those. And then clearance. They had a lot of cool clearance there in that Walmart. Uh, you know, the star, the star Screen for the, the movie Gen 1 version of Star Screen is now down to 18 bucks in some of the Walmarts I've seen. And I, to be honest, I started to buy that thing for $18 because of nostalgia from my childhood. But I just got a feeling that's going to be an Ollie's and a Ross pickup here in the next few months. I think they're going to end up stocking that probably for their holiday rush at a much cheaper price than $18. So we're going to long game that a little more. But 
Uh, Vampire Superman's hitting clearance now, usually $16 to $10 is the range on that. Captain Adam is hitting clearance, and then again, Superpowers, the Batwing and Supermobile are hitting clearance. And I've seen a wide range of prices on that Batwing and Supermobile, all the way from $10 a piece up to $24 a piece. So just keep it, if you're looking for those things, keep an eye on your clearance aisles if they're not already at clearance price. Okay, with all that being said, that is the synopsis of the hunt, or a summary, not a, not a synopsis. Sorry about that, I'm getting my S words confused. But anyways, let's get into the haul portion. I got four items to show you. One of them I talked about in my last video that I picked up that I forgot to bring out here and show you, and it was this K5 M2 Blazer. And I know these aren't the most high, kind. people have told me, I got several messages to quit stuttering here. People tell me how bad the axles and how cheap the wheels were on these. Like, I don't do anything with these. I take them off that little rack. It's got screws, the screws to the bottom of the plate. I put wheels and tires and accessories on them. I screw them back to the rack and they stay on them. Display purposes, it looks cool. Playability, I have no idea. I don't play with them. So like I said, I picked this up because I do enjoy these old uh, two-door SUV, full-size SUVs, Blazers, the old Broncos and all that. And again, I did pick that up. Also, I don't know for sure, but I'm thinking, is that not the same color as the one Schwarzenegger had in Commando? That when they take his daughter and he they rip the engine out or something, he puts it in neutral and goes rolling down the hill. I'm thinking it was a white one with a blue stripe, maybe a gray stripe. I can't remember. I want, or maybe it was just a blue color one. I have no idea. But anyways, I want to go back and look at that movie and see. But again, he had one of those style blazers in that movie. All right, my next couple of things were some mail, uh, mail calls that came in. The first one was something that I missed out on during the Target clearance of these two packs up here. Y'all heard me go on. I kept trying to find the Doctor Doom Captain Marvel 2-pack. I could not find it. They had eight of those things at my Target the day before they hit clearance. They hit clearance the next day. These were the first things to go off the shelf in my Target, but... T3 Collects, check him out. If you're not already subscribed to him on, on uh, YouTube, T, the letter T, the number three, Collects. Go look him up and subscribe to Carlos, subscribe to T3 Collects. I've gotten to chat with him here a lot lately. He's a really good guy and he did hook me up. He found one of these on clearance at his target. He hooked me up and sent this thing to me. I really appreciate this. Uh, and this is going to go up here, probably right in here on the shelf once I get done with the video and messing around with it here. I love this version of Dr. Doom. This is based on the Secret Wars figure from back in the 80s that came out. And that was a Dr. Doom I always used in my superhero adventures when I was a kid. Uh, those super, uh, super uh, Secret Wars uh, figures were the first comic book related action figures I ever had when I was a kid. And one thing he and I were talking about that he brought up was an excellent point. I don't know why someone doesn't release a retro series of those. With those shields that had the little holograms in them, I mean, I, they, they would take my money for sure if they put those things back out. But again, thank you, T3, man. I appreciate you picking this up and sending it to me. And now, as far as I'm considered, my last Target clearance haul is complete. All right, set that down there very gently. Next thing I've got, and I'm going to give a shout out to another YouTuber, a Real Batman. He put a, uh, a video review out on this on his channel, or maybe he put some pictures on it. I can't remember what he did, but he, he did pr uh, kind of promote this one. But I had forgot this was coming out. I watched this movie. I loved it. And, of course, I was going to buy this once I finally realized it was out. But he put that on there. I saw it was out, found it on Target, and ordered it. But we got the ultimate feral predator from the Prey movie. I don't, if you have not seen Prey, if you have Hulu, go to Hulu, look this up and watch it. If you're a fan of Predator movies, this is an awesome Predator movie. In my opinion, as far as Predator movies go, and I love those movies, you got Predator with Schwarzenegger is still the top of the line for me. This is second. This overtook Danny Glover in Predator 2. Now to me, Prey is second, and then right under it is Predator 2 with Mr. Glover, but I just got this thing out of the box today. Check that thing out. I'll try to get most of the glare of it off. This is a beefy figure. The thing is huge. It is awesome. It is gorgeous. I highly recommend this. I don't open my neck of Predator figures. I don't open a whole lot of stuff. I'm mostly inbox, but man, look at this thing. I would like to open this and set this up somewhere. It is an awesome looking figure. And Mr. Real Batman, Target owes you a commission, sir, because of your video, I saw this, found it online, ordered the sucker. So I do appreciate the heads up that thing was out. 
All right, last thing I got to show in the haul here, and I got to hurry up. I'm way too long on this, but I did at Target. I did pick up the Bat Cycle from the animated series. Again, I'm still on the fence about this. If I do, do decide I'm not going to buy the figures, I'll probably take this back, but they only had the one. If I do get any of these, I do want this. I want Batman, and I want Mr. Freeze. So I did go ahead and pick it up since I saw it there in Target. But that is the haul. That is the hunt, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Thank you for joining me here for this. Let's go into my social media, Instagram. If you look in the description of this video, if you look at my about page on YouTube, if you look at the bottom of this screen, you're going to see information on where to find me on Instagram. Find me on there, follow me on there, see what I'm posting. You get a heads up when videos are going to drop. And I do post pictures of things that I see that may not be contained in these videos. So check me out on Instagram. The other form of social media I have is haha, <laughs> YouTube. So if you are a first time viewer to this content, you've came back multiple times and you have yet to click subscribe, click subscribe to The Man Collects and see what comes down the pipe here on the YouTube channel. With all that being said, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you're having a great week and I will see you back here on Friday the 13th.